Beautiful day today with the sunshine and we're taking a live view at that as we can see from our Chatham Parkway Toyota overhead sky cam. Going to see just a few clouds in there, but generally mostly clear mild temperatures right through the evening hours. Still a lot of 70s over the next several hours. So almost at 803. We're looking at lows when you wake up tomorrow morning, generally in the low 60s. So that'll be a little bit warmer than we saw this morning. When we started out at 56 degrees, that was below average. Our normal low is 59 and we were actually a degree above average this afternoon, topping out at 82 degrees and you saw no rainfall across the area today. Here's what we have over the next couple of hours. Again, mostly clear skies, 70s going through that nine o'clock hour, and then we're going to see more of those upper 60s heading into midnight, keeping it mostly clear, heading on through tomorrow morning by 5 a.m. mid 60s. Mostly clear with a light breeze out of the south. That's going to give us that warm start for your Tuesday. Fair and fair first alert live radar not showing any precipitation anywhere across our area. And you can see just a few clouds here on our satellite and radar, mainly along parts of uh, the Chatham County, Jasper County region up in the low country. But nobody's seeing any rain. Low 70s now on Hilton Head. We've dropped the 79 here in Savannah, also in Brunswick. Everybody else inland are in the low 80s. Our warmest Sylvania, Alma, and Jessup all at 83 degrees. There's a lot of that warm air here moving up the east coast, all thanks to high pressure parked off the southeast coastline, really helping to surge those 80s northward. We had temperatures close to 90 in Baltimore, heading over towards uh, parts of uh, the Philadelphia area, even low 80s in New York City. There's the rain moving out of the Gulf, and it's moving pretty much northward here. Mississippi, Memphis into parts of the Ohio Valley, not really making a big push eastward. So that means it's not going to be in our area anytime soon. But eventually tomorrow, I think some of that moisture moves in. Not for tonight. There we are hour by hour stopping at midnight. Nice and clear, clear start for a lot of us at 7 a.m. Now as we go through the daytime, pretty quiet here at noontime. The sea breeze gonna, is going to get going. And by that 3 o'clock hour, I think we'll see at least a few scattered light showers developing, maybe an isolated thunderstorm as we get a little bit of mid to upper level moisture working in from the west through around that midnight 1 a.m. time frame. So that's that rain chance we'll see in here uh, for tomorrow. Dry start inland areas and beach areas generally in mid 60s at that 7 o'clock hour, but it will be warmer inland. We're looking at about 83 or so. Uh, for the Savannah region, upper 70s expected at the beaches for highs tomorrow. As you can see, could even see a few spots up to about 86 south of the Ultimaha River. Your first alert seven day forecast was coming up right now. Actually, let's get right into that. That's going to show us a little bit of drier weather with more sunshine heading into Wednesday through Friday. That's going to allow the temperatures to warm back up. And with that, we're looking at highs approaching 90 degrees for pretty much all inland areas Thursday into Friday. By the weekend, we do pick up an extra cloud or two with a, a slightly better chance for some scattered showers, still mainly into the afternoon hours Saturday. A little bit better chance with a cold front kind of washing out there on Sunday. Once that front washes out, we get more sunshine and warmer temperatures for next week.